Hi, did you know that MetaQuest isn't just for game developers? If you have experience with mobile development, then you already have what it takes to be a VR wizard. My name is Aiden Tran, and I work on Metaspatial SDK. In this talk, I'm going to show how you, regardless of experience, can use Spatial SDK to bring your best ideas to life. I'll cover how to build your first app and some useful development workflows. Then, I'll introduce a partner engineer who will cover common use cases for Spatial SDK. Getting started with Spatial SDK is quick and simple. Install the Meta Horizon plugin for Android Studio, click New Spatial SDK Project, then click Create to build your first app. The green Play button in the New Project window runs the app on device. The starting app showcases different ways Android UI can be implemented in Spatial SDK. In Spatial SDK, your main entry point is the immersive activity. Launching an immersive activity creates a spatial environment in the headset. In the onCreate function, we load in our 3D objects and 2D panels as defined in Metaspatial Editor. For context, MetaQuest devices can already run regular Android apps. They're hosted in Windows on the home menu. Spatial SDK adds to this and allows Android to create immersive experiences on Meta Horizon OS. Because Spatial SDK is fundamentally Android, we can leverage the existing ecosystem of tools and workflows to make spatial development easy. Building out UI in Spatial SDK is the same as mobile development. An example workflow could look like this. You make changes to the UI and preview them in your IDE. Once you get it to a state you like, launch your app and make adjustments in real time with live edits. If something still seems off, you can view logs with Logcat, attach a debugger, or run a Perfetto trace to debug performance. For those of you who don't yet have a headset, I've got great news. Coming soon to the Meta Horizon plugin, Spatial Simulator lets you iterate on your Spatial SDK app without the hassle of a physical device. With Spatial Simulator, you'll be able to test all of the same functionality as you would with your headset and controllers. Now that we've covered a typical UI iteration loop in Spatial SDK, I'd like to introduce our tools that are unique to spatial development. To introduce spatial development, I would start with Metaspatial Editor. Spatial Editor is our scene composition tool. You can lay out 3D assets, arrange panels, and assign app functionality all within the editor. After you update your scene, you can quickly verify changes with Spatial SDK's Hot Reload feature. Just save your work in Spatial Editor and see the changes in app. Spatial Editor and Hot Reload are extremely useful for quickly building out your scenes. But to debug 3D app state, you should use the Data Model Inspector. The Data Model Inspector allows you to peek underneath the hood of Spatial SDK. You can search for your objects, view their state, and even make edits in real time. It's best used alongside other tools like Cast Input Forwarding or the upcoming Spatial Simulator. To learn more about 3D development with Spatial SDK, check out our samples and read up on our documentation. As you develop with Spatial SDK, you'll find the combination of tools and workflows that work best for you. Now that you know how to build with us, I'm handing it over to Michael Bork to showcase the amazing things you can create with Spatial SDK. Hi, I'm Michael Bork, a partner engineer at Meta. I work closely with many of our managed developers who are building with Spatial SDK. Based on my experiences, I'd like to share some of the key use cases being built with Spatial SDK and the capabilities available to you. First, many devs using Spatial SDK are spatializing their existing Android apps to make an experience that is both familiar to users and differentiated for MetaQuest. Spatializing is taking what's great about a mobile Android app and leveraging the native capabilities of MetaQuest to build something new. By default, Android activities launch as 2D panel apps in the home menu. Adding Spatial SDK to your Android project lets you break out of that panel with 3D assets, environments, or even just more panels. For example, imagine a mobile shopping app augmented to allow users to see and manipulate 3D virtual representations of catalog items. Or a streaming app with the ability to immerse users in scenes from their favorite shows. That's the benefit of immersive apps. You can learn how to spatialize your existing 2D app through a tutorial on our documentation site. We've mentioned 2D panel apps and also immersive experiences. But let's say you're interested in enabling both forms on a single app. Hybrid apps are apps with both of these modes and the ability to switch between them. Immersive mode, for taking advantage of the spatial and interactive features of MetaQuest. And panel mode, 
for the ability to enjoy a MetaQuest optimized version of your mobile app that can be multitasked with other MetaQuest applications. Take for instance a travel booking app that allows users to browse destinations while watching a video or listening to a podcast via panel mode. Then, when they're ready to start booking, users can enter immersive mode to get a 360 view of the destination along with multiple side-by-side -side panels to cross-reference flights, hotels, maps, and more. To add hybrid functionality, all you need to do is set up two different activities in your Android manifest, then switch between them in your app logic. To see more implementation details, check out our hybrid app sample on GitHub. Media is another big use case for Spatial SDK. From streaming movies, to experiencing immersive formats like 180 or 360 videos, to reliving memories through 3D photos, MetaQuest is the best way to experience media. For those interested in building a media app, we've created a great jumping off point with our premium media sample on GitHub. In this sample, you'll find out how to utilize ExoPlayer and the in-depth panel configuration options of Spatial SDK to support stereoscopic, 180, and 360 video playback. For instance, enabling stereoscopic video on a panel is as simple as adding a single line of code. You'll also learn how to utilize shaders to create spectacular environmental lighting effects and floor reflections. Last but not least, you'll see how easy it is to implement playback for Dolby Atmos-enabled videos. With all these features, developers have everything they need to create an unforgettable viewing experience for their users. Lastly, I want to talk about mixed reality and pass-through. The ability to blend the real world with virtual content is truly magical. We recently added support for pass-through camera access, so developers can now combine what the user sees with computer vision and AI to unlock a completely new category of experiences. Our metaspatial scanner sample on GitHub allows users to scan objects in their space and get information about these objects in real time. Developers will learn how to access the forward-facing color camera on MetaQuest, perform real-time on-device detection and labeling of objects in the user's field of view, and utilize a llama model to get more in-depth details about the objects that are detected. We have one final sample we'd like to share. In our UI set sample on GitHub, we show developers how to utilize our UI set library for Spatial SDK. This helps developers integrate the design guidelines for MetaHorizon OS into their apps to make them look and feel like they're part of the MetaQuest platform. As you would expect, these components are all composables and can easily be previewed in Android Studio. We know many of you are already using AI to accelerate and improve your workflows. We want to make it easier for you to incorporate those same workflows into your development pipeline for Meta Horizon OS. And for developers who are still new to AI, we want to make it simple for you to take advantage of AI tooling as you build for MetaQuest. To get started, add our MCP server to your preferred LLM coding assistant. This will bring the knowledge and tools necessary to accelerate your development workflows on Meta Horizon OS with generative AI. Large language models are already great at helping with traditional Android development, but now they're supercharged with Meta Horizon OS and Spatial SDK development context added in. Once connected, you can ask questions about 3D development, spatial UI, general capabilities of Meta Horizon OS, and more. You can also generate code for Spatial SDK. For example, you might generate Jetpack Compose code to build beautiful UI layouts, or sub out a class to handle advanced interactions that work for both hands and controllers. There are concepts that are unique to VR that an LLM can help you navigate and also provide the code to help you implement. Spatial SDK is already enabling some incredible experiences, and we hope this video has demonstrated just how easy it is to get started. With our comprehensive suite of tools, developing immersive apps is faster and more accessible than ever. While we've highlighted a few key use cases, the possibilities with Spatial SDK are truly limitless, and we look forward to seeing what you'll create.